Hello, you beautiful souls. Your regular human DM here. I'm just wanting to thank you again for giving us a listen. If you're one of the friends and family we guilted into supporting us, we once again thank you for loving us enough to humor our dream of being big YouTube stars. And for those of you who are watching us but not out of familial guilt, we really appreciate your support and hope you continue to enjoy our show. First things first, if anyone is wondering why the second half of episode 2 has the intro, well, the answer is I forgot. I literally just forgot to put it on before I uploaded it. Just in case anyone needed a reminder that we're just five nerds who barely know what we're doing. Still, we thank all of you listening for giving us a chance to entertain you with our story. In this episode, you will hear us discuss character tokens and robots, so... Just for clarity, I'll tell you what we mean. Given that I don't want to be sued for showing anyone else's art on our channel, because we do take ourselves seriously in that regard, I mean, sure, we're just five nerds playing pretend, but we hope to eventually grow as big as the other RPG giants out there. So we don't want to shoot ourselves in the foot by setting ourselves up to be DMCA'd into the ground once people actually start to notice us. Unfortunately, quite literally everything in this game is represented by a token. That creates a need for a heap of royalty-free art to represent the various characters. To that end, I used a variety of sources, that being wiki commons, public domain works, and a few art-creating robots. I know that Dali is a big meme right now, but the art robots are invaluable for tokens that I won't get sued for. Art made by robots is not actually copyrightable to my understanding, but... I am not a lawyer by any stretch of the imagination, but I certainly hope I'm right. Specifically, I use art I get from a website called thisanimedoesnotexist.ai. The robot generates dozens of anime-like pictures, and some of them are the exact types of monstrosities that makes Dolly such a meme. Others are actually passable, with their weird robot quirks only noticeable when you closely look at them. So going forward, you will hear references to the robot drawing the art we use for tokens in the game. Luckily, we have our graphic designer TC, who is able to create wonderful pieces of art for characters by the time things hit YouTube. But when we're recording, I have to get creative. Anyway, I just wanted to explain that for you wonderful listeners, but I'm sure you're tired of listening to me right now. So instead, let's listen to me in the past, and enjoy episode two, Food, a Fight, and Something More Intimate. Uh, and the dog's yeah, been nope. outside the whole time. <laughs> I know, I know. I keep leaving him outside because, you know. I mean, it's probably for the best. It's probably yeah. for the best. But I want to have him on hand if, if you know, like, oh, he can make a great distraction kind of deal. Or like <laughs> no, he's, he's watching our backs. He'll start barking if anything comes up behind us. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. But what is it to tell him to attack or something? Uh, good... Does he know the attack trick? Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's, then, he's a fully uh, trained guard dog. That needs a yeah. brick. Yeah. Oh yeah. To uh, attack. You utilize. I think it is like a just a, a command. A move action. I don't know. Damn. Yeah, I think it might be move action. Why are rangers so bad? Jesus. I'm not a ranger though. <laughs> well, well, rangers are different. This is just using handle animal to yeah. do a thing. Oh. Yeah. It's just. It's just. Right, it, it's no, nothing that. special about it. It's just. It's yeah. just a dog that I bought. Spent 25 gold. Yeah, he's not an actual ranger. Despite he doesn't I... have an empathic link with his dog. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so you are out of combat now. Is there any... Since we're here, is there anything uh, shiny? Uh, there is nothing shiny. Mostly just rotten vegetable matter. Okay, okay, we might so... as well check that... Back room now. Yeah, save. Oh, yeah. Just, I'll just oh, and step what, over this and come over yeah. here. So, we, what so do we you know? notice this room seems to almost breathe with how alive it is. Every <laughs> surface is covered in mold and algae, and the stench of rot is strongest in this enclosed area. And in the back, you notice. A strange patch of brown mold that seems different than the ambient vegetation. And uh, you need another yes. nature check. Yes, you need another nature check. I think we know. I'll give you a lower. Give you a lower DC to uh, know about it. So yes, this is in fact russet mold. That's the russet and mold. If you. Uh, get Five feet near it, the uh, you have to make a fortitude save, or the spores will quickly take root 
and in inflict two points of constitution damage per round. Well, you just go ahead and burn that for us, then. A I new think... fortitude save can be attempted each round to halt the growth. How, like, fire-prone is it? Let's see. Uh, immunity to disease won't protect against rusted mold spores. Okay, good to know. However, exposure to sunlight also halts the, spo the spores' growth. And uh, plants are immune to the spores. Uh, was it sunlight outside, or was it still night? Or was it night it is sunlight outside. Okay. I think we came specifically during the day. We spent the yeah, night. you woke up and came in. All right. Uh, you know, we don't really need um, to burn it. Just uh, get some sunlight in here. Uh, which direction would the sun be coming from? Uh, let me see. Do I have a compass map? Or it the, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay, so we can get we can just bust a hole somewhere and get some sunlight in. Yeah, I imagine it's probably just cardinal directions. Yeah. Um, D Devesh, could you bust a hole up here? Yeah, just yeah. bust a hole in the roof. Yeah, yeah. Devesh will climb around and break as directed. Yeah, yeah gotcha. to judge where the sunlight's falling. No, 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 a little bit more over to the to the left. Okay, perfect. We gotta get some good coverage. Thwack. Oh, dear. And uh, also. Uh, one thing that will prevent uh, russet mold spores from growing in you is being drunk. <laughs> oh. oh. I'm going to reload while we're futzing about as well. <laughs> that reminds me in early 2020 when there was like news articles coming out with people saying that beer would make you immune to COVID. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that is... Um, so you bust a hole, you let sunlight in, it doesn't like immediately wither away and die, but you know that uh, with enough sunlight exposure, it will eventually die. Yes. Good enough for me. Or at least uh, it'll grow inert. Which is essentially the same thing, as long as it stays inert. Yeah, uh, sorry, it is, uh, sorry. A patch of russet mold is unharmed by all effects, save for acid alcohol or remove disease so the sunlight cool. will uh, it will render it dormant and harmless for as long as the sunlight persists oh okay so we, we, we have if, our uh, chance to uh, go yes. to it now to then destroy it yeah so if you expose it to the sunlight you've rendered it dormant so now you can get close enough to destroy it which you would need alcohol um acid or uh so even the fire wouldn't wouldn't catch it but uh, acid, uh, alcohol, or um, the spell remove disease. Oh, wait, didn't we have some alcohol with us? Didn't we find some alcohol there in that flask? You had a uh, pitcher full of wine. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, just eat that right at it. <laughs> well, I mean, it's, it's dormant now. We can approach it safely. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, um, Devesh, he ripped open the wall to let the sunlight in, and you just wait a moment, and then it goes to sleep. And I'm up. not a I'll... drunken monk, sadly, so I am not carrying alcohol. We'll have to use the Speaking of wine. things that would be drunk and nice. Damn, I was potions. hoping to celebrate with that. <laughs> Do I have any potions? Uh, no, I don't, actually. I wasn't afraid, able to um... afford any myself. I had, I had not a whole lot of money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I was before. <laughs> Monks don't Damn get Damn you... Two E for having the. I think I. Skill. I think I had like five gold left or something. Uh, I will be right back. Medic? Yeah, Is I was able to get a hammock, um, my armor, and then a bird. Burb. Burb. Speak with Burb. The Burb is not with me at the moment, but. <clears throat> After pouring, you know, enough alcohol on the thing to uh, kill it a little bit more, just to be sure, I, you know, cuddled up with the dog and pet it. Tell us a good boy. She's a she's a good girl. Yeah, no, I'm getting the hell out of there. I have already moved. In fact, it smells terrible. <laughs> oh, no, dodge. Yeah, come on, Cinder, let's get out of here. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna pull my toe. Well, out of that there. was great. Grub did say he'd well, be that... right back. Yeah, yeah, we're just kind of vamping for the moment. Yeah, J just making sure. So. 
Well, but folks, uh, where do you think oh, we should go next? Yeah, so should we go towards what our actual mission is, or should we go explore some more? <laughs> well, I mean, do we know exactly where our actual mission is? Do we we saw, I think we the saw a, the boat out in the water. Or we saw a boat out in the water, we don't know for sure that's the boat, but hmm. there is a wreck of a boat out in the water. It might be worth exploring just to see if we can find a intact, like, rowboat or something. Or at least something for first aid purposes. I'd like to get some of these wounds patched up if I can. What is it? What's the DC for a heal check? God, I think it's like twenty. That, okay, well, with a heal check, you can't restore hit points unless you treat deadly wounds, which takes an hour. It requires hmm. two uses of a healer's kit, which I don't have. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'm back. Okay, welcome back. All what right, can you so, do with the heal skill if you don't have a healer's kit, then? Tell if just, someone's about to keel over. You just take a penalty. Uh, I'm, I'm just saying, oh, we, we could come It's just a minus here. two. It, oh, it's God like a it. minus four. Yeah, I was going to say, like, we've got a couple of buildings down here we could come explore if we want to, uh, before we go and find that wreck. By the way, we were... The we wreck were... is further north. There is a, uh, if you see, there's a portion of the concrete that continues onto another map. Well, you see, like, the path leading around. But, uh, yeah, so you guys poured the wine on the mold? Yeah. Alright, the mold is dead. And oh, we'll be chest bursting it... any more people. Did it take the whole, uh, flask of it? Yeah. Well... While you were gone, we were also discussing, like, how do we recover hit points if we don't have healing? And that kind of discussion about, like, using the heal skill... But yeah, it's a you, you can deadly wounds without a healer's kit. Yeah, you just take minus four. Okay, uh, but it's, it's still a DC twenty to actually treat deadly wounds, right? Uh, DC 15, 20 to oh, get 15. your intelligence. Yeah. Okay. Do I have heal? Uh, and if you exceed the DC, I have heal. Five. I have plus you six add to your heal. Wisdom modifier to okay. the amount of hit points you recover. Yeah, as I say, it's DC twenty to heal plus your wisdom modifier. Otherwise, it's just heal. Okay. I'll try. I've yeah, got a I'll try. Bonus. Uh, but what's your what's your bonus to the, your heal skill? Three. Okay, I'm gonna try first because I got six. And it takes an hour to do that. Do we want to take an hour to try and patch up some wounds? Uh, I'm at four your... out of ten. Yeah, we need to try and patch up some wounds. Yeah, That's... you're. It's not great. But actually, yeah, it's also... funny. It's one of those cases would have been better if I had been wounded because I can use my own. I can create cure light wound potions and use them myself, but I can't give them to anyone else. The brash and brazen sylph keeps rushing into combat and getting his ass kicked. Well, that's <laughs> two way. All right, yeah, so yeah. let me roll that heal real quick. Leon uh, hasn't hit a target since the flashback. Zephyrus hasn't won a fight. <laughs> since before the flashback. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, he he's got that right. prideful oh, trait God. too. So he, he this is gonna like really hurt his ego going forward. All right. Uh, <laughs> yes, this is all so, a flashback, which is why I was able to hit that Vega big me. Who who's yeah, over on him? Because I'm okay. ranged. I don't. It's fine. I can. All see right. It. So I'll 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 try to patch up the own. No, hey. What's your uh, wisdom? Uh, my wisdom is plus two. Uh, Leon is right, ranged. So one. I'm the melee one. <laughs> Zephyrus, you heal three hit points. All right, cool. And I'll just cope because I'm ranged. Well, I mean, we're, if we're spending the hour to do it, I can try it on you anyways. Well, it would be yeah. another hour. But if, I, no, no, while if he's, he's spending an hour doing it on okay. Zephyrus, I can spend an hour okay. doing it on you. What, what is the DC again? It's DC fifteen, and you'll get back your HD. Okay. If he beats, if he makes twenty, you get back your hit die plus his wisdom modifier. All right. So there's no reason not to try. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, so I don't even get back one HP. Okay, <laughs> sorry, let's... Uh, D Devesh is over there, like, rubbing dirt in it. Like, does that feel better? <laughs> this is what I always <laughs> did. You'll be fine. <laughs> Devesh is over there, so what you got to do is walk it off. You got to put yep. more weight on it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and and uh, Rose is like, don't listen to him. Try to stay off of it as much as you can. Just it's like, just a flesh wound. <laughs> wound. The more they just like slow and like push him further away. <laughs> no, I, I'm just imagining the Monty Python skit. Like Leo is just missing a limb altogether, and Devesh is like, "It's just a flesh wound." 
I just put the sword in my mouth. Leg off. <laughs> no, you haven't. <laughs> And the entire time, the uh, the observer is just watching you. <laughs> let's let's go. It really likes to watch, doesn't it? All right, let's go. Up. Continue Likes to observe. Uh, do we want to check out these buildings oh, yeah. to the south before we move on? Then I do. Just right, so we. we uh... Devesh, please take point. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah you, you take point, Devesh. I'll be behind you. Do I even have it? Oh, I got my Cestus. That's right. I was like, do I even have a melee weapon? I don't. Um, are these? Where's the oh, door I mean, for this do. one here? I think it's over here on this side because that looks like a, a doorway right there. Are on these this... windows on this end? Do what? Are these? I didn't miss the pings. Are these door uh, down here on this building? Is that right here a window or a door? Or is the... sorry, the door is uh, like down here. Okay. I see where you pinged. Yeah, sorry. Right here. There's a uh, yeah. With a are the, bit are of these in. windows though? Like, could we peek in yeah. from over here? Yeah, they're windows. All right. I, I'd cool. like to just glance in from over here and see if we can see in from here. Then. Uh, it is dark inside. Do you have a light source? I have dark. Only vision. low light vision. I okay. have dark vision. I'll, I'll yep. peek that's, that's okay. I Those have of you dark, with vision. dark vision. Please. Don't move out of the way. I need you for a human shield. <laughs> Uh, please make a, a perception check. Oh, damn it! Well, at least to be honest, probably better that I rolled high on that heal check. So uh... it is a it is two digits. Yeah, at least you got double digits. Wow, you actually have a higher perception than me. I don't see anything. Uh, yeah, you don't see anything in there. You just oh. see a another ruined kind of rotten building with a bunch of trash. Much like the first building you came in. Nothing of... Although uh, it does look like somebody might have tried to lay down blankets. I think this is just a hobo hovel. Let's move on. Yep. I'll check out this next one down here. I'm gonna go inside anyway. Right, like, right into the, the, the doorway right here. Alright, uh, do you have dark vision? Or... I do. Okay, so, make another perception check. Now they're not looking through a window. There you go. Oh. It was foggy window. Yeah, there's a really, really dirty window. I'm just putting my head, head in candles, the door and so. being like, hmm, blankets, huh? All right, uh, uh, Zephyrus, you see someone oh. kind of hiding in the, you see two figures hiding in the darkness, and they are being very still. Don't do it. I'm going to try to roll diplomacy and talk to them. Don't do it. If I can. Oh, that's right. Okay, you actually have a decent diplomacy. I do. All right. So I I'm just. Hey, I don't have to be the face. You know, my my best Obi Wan impression. Hello there. I'm a friend. Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. Holy shit. <laughs> shit. He is a friend. Yeah. I can be your friend. Hello there. <laughs> oh, Obi. And you, know you hear the taller of the two figures answer from the darkness. Well. That's certainly a relief. Not too many friends around here. Uh-oh. I'm gonna, like, move never, a little closer. Like I don't, I don't trust that time. voice. <laughs> Why That's are you hiding in the darkness voice. over there? I'd rather not say. Fair enough. Would you like to come forward and speak to us as friends? I suppose I could do that. And a figure steps forward out of the darkness, leaving the second figure kind of huddled in the darkness. But the first one is going to uh, stand near the light. And you see it is a like a sort of tall, casually kind of hunched uh, human male. He, he appears uh, to be pretty young. Horny teenager. Not, uh, not like super. He appears to be more like 18, 19. I see. Ah, uh, yes, my peers. <laughs> he is draped in a red and gold flame-styled uh, robe. Oh. That's so he does not look fit fancy. in with the area, then. Does it look dirty, or...? No, it doesn't look dirty at all. It looks, like, almost immaculately clean. You can roll knowledge local on his garb. I do have knowledge nobility, if that's an option. Uh, go ahead and roll knowledge nobility. About the same score on each I'm of those. I'm glad I don't have to roll any knowledges. Can you enlarge uh, that, please? No ranks. Uh, no. You do not want me to enlarge it. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, I, I, I see. It was uh, drawn by a robot, and if you look too closely at it, you will go insane. I oh. <laughs> say no more. Yeah, that'll do it. Say no more. And I, so, I, I, yeah. And uh, the hood of his rope kind of obscures his eyes. And with the knowledges, let's see, you both know that he's wearing the traditional garb of the Hellforge. The Hellforge? The Hellforge is a weapons manufacturing town on Isla Prima that is known to bind devils into weapons. Ah, the good shit. Mm. They are allies of the Black Gambit Society because of who the Black Gambit Society fights, how, how they deal with the Dark Tapestry and the Eldritch threats. They represent clerics of lawful evil deities who have a stake in this fight. So their contribution is these devil-forged weapons. Uh, They know that people don't trust them, so they don't often operate as agents. hmm. So that's what they do, is they provide weapons. They are weapons manufacturers. And he's wearing one of their, an immaculate... Hellforge robe. You seem a little, uh, little lost. Very out of uh, place to see someone from the Hellforge yeah. here. This is, well, this is a place to get away, is it not? I wouldn't okay. recommend it. Are you associated with the three boys we found over in the other building? I can't imagine. No. Uh, I don't know who you found. I am here with one other person. Yes. What about them? He kind of smiles like a little too wide. She prefers to remain anonymous. Okay, I've already been getting bad Can't, feelings. It's sense motive you guys time. Not just go and have dates somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> He's like, you are aware that I am from the Hellforge. Not many parents would appreciate. Okay. So take her back to your place instead. Then. Oh, I, I couldn't imagine she'd want to travel that far. Uh, so, Devesh, with that sense motive, uh, In- you notice that he's just kind of being braggadocious, but you don't sense deception. Well, I mean, there's got to be some better makeout spot than, like, this haunted pier full of yeah. rats in... in yeah, be, be careful, there's, uh, there's stuff, stuff around here that will uh, kind of it'll, blow up your chest you with... Uh, getting to third base. Yeah. <laughs> what was the name of the mold again? Uh, Russet, Russet Mold. Russet Mold, yeah. Friend, you do know that there's Russet Mold afoot here in these docks. You could become horribly infected with that, and you don't want to know what happens after about a day's worth of exposure. Infected with something else, too. Well, I don't plan on being here days. More, eh, a few hours, really. <laughs> I G- generally, generally the night, to be honest. Are there it's, no, uh, like, really nice cliffs with a view? Anywhere? I'm just saying you might go home with more than STDs. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, that, can that we... like, has a smile to vanish. He's like, sir, that is my companion you're speaking of. That, that was I'm... a little rude there. God, I'm supposed to be the one with the name. Is that not what right? this area <laughs> is for? I'm just making... No, 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 no. I mean, it's, it's just a side effect. In fairness, in fairness, you wouldn't catch it from your partner. You'd catch it yeah. from all the other people's who <laughs> happen to be around. Oh, God. <laughs> he sort transition. of holds up a hand. He's like, please, please. There is no mold in this <laughs> building. There is no dangers that I've seen. I've taken the utmost precaution to ensure this is a comfortable getaway. Unfortunately, there's not many places that, well, a woman of her stature would want to be seen with someone like me. You know... But we can't see her from where we're at, or...? Uh, No, she's basically back in the uh, blocked-off area, and he's standing in the doorway, and, like, it's just dark darkness behind him. Like, you can see kind of a figure crouching back there. Yeah, because we do have dark vision, but yeah, you, know, yeah. It's, it's, you can't see through walls. That I play, yeah. and I'd be totally interested in finding out who's hiding back there. Yeah, Javesh though, I, nah, he's cool. I know. Like, nah, just... all right, have fun. All right, don't get right. don't get shot, et cetera, yeah, et cetera. Sure. Yeah, fair enough. Or I'm. Leave. We'll leave you to your business. Let us know if 
you see anything afoot? Well, <laughs> what is your name, good sir? You may call me Zephyrus. Uh, did, did we get a name from him? Uh, you did not. Oh, you know, well, that's a good point. Give me your name and I will give <laughs> you mine. Uh, I'm going to be polite. My name is Zephyrus. What is your name, sir? My name is... And he kind of hesitates. Nalar. 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 No, uh, no family so name. <laughs> that's, I did not mean to hit sleight of hand, sorry. No, that's oh, fine. Didn't matter. I won't the same thing with him. <laughs> Uh, you don't sense that he's lying about his first name. You sense that he didn't want to give his last name. Hmm. That seems about normal under the circumstances. Yeah. Yeah. He says, it's a pleasure to meet you, Zephyrus. A pleasure to meet you as maybe well. well. Maybe we'll see each other again. I appreciate you allowing my companion her discretion. There are nosy types that may press... I appreciate that you don't. We have other business. We're not interested in whatever people do here. We're just trying to clean things up a little bit. That's oh my cool. god. I'm, I'm just gonna start walking Peek in the away. window. Peek in the window no, no, back here. Oh god damn it. Oh no. Uh, make a stealth check there, Rose. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> You're really ruining my chance to give him or, like some helpful tips on how to not be discovered and also or, uh, not do it like a dog full of splinters. And here I was hoping we'd get some Hellforge weapons down the line from being nice. <laughs> or maybe he'd hand us some potions at the end of the night. Or, I, it, I gotta. It's it's saying I'm overburdened because I haven't transferred some of the things to my dog's like inventory, but like they're supposed to, she's supposed to have just, them. Just remove the weight and be like, oh, I'm not wearing it right now. Yeah, that's how I always do it. That's what so, I basically yeah. do. With, that's what I basically do because at the start of every combat, there's no reason I wouldn't just drop my my, my kid. <laughs> right. There's the quick release backpack. But uh, go ahead and uh, roll that stealth. Yeah. So I'm just because that because it affects myself. I was trying to get that fixed. Gotcha. Just put your pack down and sneak close. I guess, um... <laughs> oh, I'm guessing the perception is through the roof. Uh, no, not through the roof. I just natural 20 the perception. Oh, oh no! <laughs> uh... Idly walk by looking in. Look, yeah, so, you gaze into you gaze into the uh, the room. What's like a sea hag or something? You get gaze attacked. Oh, uh, <laughs> You <Sorry>. deserve it. <laughs> no, it's, uh... It's much worse, I'm sure. It's another no, anime auto it's... profile. It's important, it's a which bit is a problem. Saucy. I think it's another important NPC that we're not... That, that they don't want anyone to know they're here, probably. You look through and you see a, a human woman... Uh, she appears to be maybe 1920, about the maybe a little older than this guy, and she's sort of tied up, like unwilling, tied up, or like uh, sometimes tied up. You don't know. You just know that uh, she's kind of crouching down. Looks like she's avoiding to be seen, but she makes eye contact with you, and then you hear the scream, and uh, she immediately tries to like get out of your sight. Do you have knowledge, nobility? Turn around, be uh, like, what the? I what? do not. <laughs> okay. And uh, so he will come back into the room, and he will eventually, he will basically like throw a uh, a blanket over her to kind of obscure her. Okay. And uh, he, he kind of just growls out, he's like, just nosy, nosy, nosy. And you see him kind of like kneel next to her and he's going to try it. He's like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't think, I didn't know they would come. I didn't know they would be here. So, M they're, they're kind of going to shrug. Oh. Sorry, just, I, I, sorry I'm not to, sorry. I'm trying to formulate like, the response. <laughs> Uh, don't don't talk to be honest, this. You didn't give a fuck. Yeah, and, uh, I, don't, I don't really care. Just... Federal knowledge local. Local. He's like got my head up to my forehead. It's just like, I don't know. Uh, She's again kind of naked. Why are you talking but to them? Just you notice something. Away. 
you notice that she's wearing like a uh, a necklace. And the necklace is the local heraldry of the Porcule family, which you know, the captain of the guard for Port Zenith is a man named Lyle Porcule. No, oh, no wonder this guy was trying to be discreet. He didn't want to get shot. Yeah, no, like I, I, I can understand thought. that. I, as long as she's uh, she's she's willing, but and I kind of get the impression that like, right, but right, carry on. I I I don't give a flying flip. So, don't talk. To them. As long as it's every... talking to them. <laughs> and uh, yeah, no, he's going. To, once he's like covers her up, he's going to like come to the doorway, and he's like, "We have a problem now." What seems to be the problem? I look confused because I don't know what Rose is doing. If the rest of us are all just, like I over just have here. My, my face in my hands. I'm investigating a completely different building. I'm just on my way over to this one, you know, just like, huh? No, look. God damn it! I'm sorry. We had to find out. We didn't, though. <laughs> I, tr- <laughs> I trusted the 26 sense motive, Rob. <laughs> I, I don't know your sense motive. The monks <laughs> constantly looting things. You're being a peep. I don't know what you're talking about. Constantly looting things. <laughs> He's only had one option, one chance to do it. <clears throat> so I guess that means you've had a 100% looting rate. But anyways, that's... um. I'm just, I'm not... You know what? I was going to give advice on how to avoid, you know, this kind of scandalous nature in the first time. Like, say, I don't know, get like a covered dinghy and go and anchor out in the middle of the bay or something but no this is, now we have a situation god just shoot me and get it over with <laughs> try not to miss <laughs> so, so do i hear him right. saying that we have a problem yeah like he's gonna come to the door and he's like calling out because he sees the other three he sees like devesh across the way so he says like so now we have a problem and i'm just like well, no what, what 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 happened uh, what is it? Just grab Rose by the collar. It's like, what did you do? Why are you like this? What it's did like, you unfortunately, do? Unfortunately, my companion has now been found out. I have no idea who your companion is. <laughs> are you going to try to bluff? I mean, I guess I do technically have an idea. I mean, but I... Uh, literally I guess, who? Yeah, literally who. Hold on, I've got a better idea. I'm not going to try to bluff. <laughs> may, can, can, can I ask him if there... Is there a way we can come up, uh, to a reasonable outcome here? I, we were not trying to pry. I was yeah. going to leave you alone, sir. It's like, well, I what appreciate you not trying, but one of you has decided to pry. And now, now there are four people I don't know that can go back to Port Zenith and infer that Lady yep. Caterpocule has been seen away oh, from well, her husband. See, Again, oh, shit. literally. <laughs> oh, <well>. God. <laughs> well, no, you're not very good at this, because only I actually saw, and I had only the vaguest idea of who she was. Well, I, I don't, don't know. You're making this maybe. worse. Well. So is this the part where we just tell them that we're part of the thing? I mean. The, the what group? We're, we're part of the Black, uh, Black Gambit Society. But I mean, everyone on Isla Prima kind of is. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, okay. Do, do, I mean, like, do we tell them we're like we we are we weren't even supposed to find you here. <laughs> Sir, so we no, you weren't supposed to find me. Is there anything we can do to earn your trust back? Do we need to? I don't know who Listen, this man is. I don't know who this woman is. I do. We want don't to be on that. the bad side of the Hellforge. We don't know what they could do to us. I don't know this man. Why he, would they uh, have any comments? Like, do anything. He actually like, heaves a tired sigh when you say that. He's like, the Hellforge is not going to do anything to you. We spend so much effort avoiding that stereotype. Well, we're not planning on spreading anything. She seems willing, and that's all I care about. It is none of our business either way, but either way, how do we resolve God, this? I, can, 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 can I, can I, will a diplomacy check help much. for me? You can try. I'll try. Because I do have like a plus seven to diplomacy. So yeah, as you're sort of talking to him, he kind of lessens his like irritation. He's like, maybe we can come to some sort of agreement. Wait here. And he disappears back into the building for a minute. All right. At this point, I'm going to step up. <laughs> what did you do? I'm just gonna pass. I'm just gonna pass Rose to you. It's like here. <laughs> I just looked that verify. conversation here, was over. Why are we still having it? We were walking I mean, away. I was walking away, and clearly I I just... not. 
<laughs> you are very clearly older than me. Why are you dumber? <laughs> and if Age does and if not he was bring wisdom. And if he was lying and had certainly didn't someone seem like was... he was lying to me. Why would you think he was lying? Everyone lies. Even if Certainly. he was lying, he's not the reason we're here. He was being here. evasive, though. He wasn't lying to us. And he's you not would be the being reason evasive we're too here, if period. four nondescript strangers came across you while you were trying to get laid. Oh, completely understandable. I care not for that. So then why did this happen? Because I don't know. I'm just going to walk it. off mumbling in Venar and just, just <laughs> literally mumbling curses to myself in Monkey. Oh my god, <laughs> these people. And uh, so he actually reappears with what appears to be a platter that has four wine glasses on it. Oh. Oh boy. Okay. He's like, well, perhaps a gift for your silence. I was hoping to save more than a fourth of the bottle for myself, but under the circumstances, I believe this is more important. So, uh, he's, he's gifting the, uh, the drink of wine, not the actual like, cups. Yeah. I mean, you, you can try to take them if you want. I'm, I'm not going to try to take them. Is there a, you can ask him, hey, can we keep this? I'm just going to wave him off. Like, yeah. Listen, I'm, I'm here on actual business. We, We've we got we a job to do here. Save it for your lady friend. This shouldn't have happened. I would it really have a either... clear head for you now. Look, you look a little worn, my friend. My hopeful can, new friend. Can I... This, this is wine fortified with, well, a certain oh, creature's blood. I will, uh, can I take no it and point. use craft alchemy to, like, get a sense, you know, what... Oh, uh, yeah, go ahead. And the, uh, as you sort of tell you, will explain. Is like it is known for its fortifying properties. Oh, for frick's sake! I mean, if it can't. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 no, I think I just get it. Like, if I, I think it's just like a round, and I just it's like detect if magic it's a or potion. Whatever. That's why. I asked. You know what? I'm just gonna take one and drink it, and just uh, add, no questions asked. I'm just gonna do it. Yeah. Um. Alchemically, a uh, this glass of wine is functionally similar to a cure light wounds. Oh. Oh. Yep, this is a you know perfectly what? I reasonable. You need that. I'll take I don't. The one I'm, from Ruse's hand. I, I, I wasn't planning on taking <laughs> I'm, it. I'm still doing it anyway. I'm <laughs> doing it. Don't call me fisting it. Call me cynical. I'm afraid that I've. Oh, I'm not calling you cynical. I'm calling you nosy. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm calling you an idiot. And I'm just gonna drink one. To new oh, friendships, man. I suppose. <laughs> you don't need to worry about me saying I, anything. I, I I will wave off. I I am good. I am quite refreshed. I'm just going to heal too. my one hit like, point. You have my word as a paladin. Cure Light Wounds is 1d8 plus 1, right? Yes. Yeah, I'm at full health, so I'm, I'm really just like, have, have my share. I, I do apologize right. for the inconvenience. Full health. Yeah, a, a little bit of white light. Like, I apologize right. for the inconvenience. I had to be sure that there was nothing more um, nefarious going on. Well, enjoy your night. As, in, as nefarious, only as nefarious as infidelity is. And now I'm not comfortable with four strangers being able to, well, blab. Especially <sighs> that the captain of the guard of Fort Zenith is not an enemy I wish to make. However, I do hope that this is amenable enough to buy your silence. Of this the matter. Is, we were never oh. here and we saw nothing, I say, and I start walking away. <laughs> Your politics mean yeah, less you. than nothing to me. <laughs> yeah, the the silence wasn't necessary needed to be bought. I was had no plans of divulging any information. I don't, well... You don't trust me. I understand that. I'm as trustful of you as you are of me. Uh, yeah, she does Interesting. Like a, uh, she does I like find a, a you bow. perfectly trustworthy. She does a little bow. I like uh, this guy. He quickly bows in turn. Well, enjoy the rest of your night. Enjoy the glass of wine. I neither know of nor the care of for your politics. Have fun. Like, yeah. She really was just like making sure that there wasn't. Yeah, I, mean, I, I get why Rose Raza did it, but like you said, he's he's just kind of oh shit. Let me yeah. Let me... <laughs> I give him the. Uh, he doesn't know Rose Raza, so. <laughs> no, I'll yeah. give him a two finger salute and then like turn away. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then, then like, gives me a one finger salute. I, I imagine. <laughs> <laughs> No, nothing so crass. A again, you kind of get that sort of, he's a, he's obviously a, like a spoiled rich kid. No, yeah. Devesh is the uh, one who'd do that. Well, yeah, I was thinking <laughs> Leon was going to be the one to do, give me the one-finger salute. After His him a two reaction is, how do I buy my way out of this? Good thing so, I uh, crossed yeah. a monk in a paladin. <laughs> As it's coming off the monk in waves, how little he does not care. <laughs> the paladin's just, like, got 
secondhand embarrassment for multiple reasons. I was just <laughs> checking the building in case, like, someone needed help again, like those kids. Yeah, oh, no, yeah, no, like, no, I, I good call on the in, talking with the guys all well and good. Like, yeah. I think that was the right move. I, 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 I made my sense motive check when he was shady, and I was content with that. Yeah, see, but I don't have the benefits of your sense motive. You didn't say, oh, I trust him, and we all, even if you did, we don't really have that history together like I do with... You know, did I not other say? I could have sworn I said sounds legit to me. It's problematic that you don't mm. think that way because we're supposed to be teammates. But... This is also our first expedition. You're, so. you're also being judged on how well you work together. I'm about yeah, to you like, your, your ass. Teammates, and I thumb my shoulder <laughs> over my thumb over my shoulder at the floating eyeball. We're yeah, also, also being judged did, by did, the did, audience. Uh, uh, did he say it? By the way, if I if I didn't hear him say it, I do apologize because that that probably would have that would have made some difference. But yeah, both here. You know what? I I think what has has transpired was entertaining enough and hilarious, and I'm okay oh, yeah. with just moving oh, yeah, forward. No, no, Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Yeah. I don't think anyone's actually salty. <laughs> this is just all in character. Oh yeah. Also, yeah, all in drag, yeah, the eyeball and the dog who have totally been there this whole time. <laughs> oh, totally speak, been there. Speaking, <laughs> speaking of which, I'm just gonna up to this eyeball. Now listen, whoever's on the other side of that better have a sense of discretion. You saw it nothing. Blinks. That's uh, it. Can, That's can it all hear? I say. That, can it hear things? You don't know. You presume so. Okay. Also, honestly, but I you don't really know anything about it. You think we can check out the rest of these buildings real quick before we? Uh... Oh yeah. So um, basically, I saw Zeph Zephyrus and Rose Raza go into one building, and Leon and Devesh go into another one. Mm -hmm. So I need uh, perception checks from you all. Okay. Also, if I would imagine that if the dog senses anything dangerous, uh, so I don't know if yeah, I need to go. I don't see shit. Sure. These windows are just terrible. Let me tell you. It's dark in there. Seems perfectly fine to me. <laughs> is that, I look through the door. Any of you, <laughs> and do any of you have survival? I forgot. Uh, uh, yeah. Yes, I do. Let me double no check. points in it. But I have I have survival, just no points in it. No. So uh, I Devesh, can't. Devesh has a nice, chunky survival. Would you like me to yeah, roll I, it? I don't. Uh, yes. It's not a class skill, but I have it. Oh, well. I mean, that's fine. So essentially, what both a groups find is a an irregular hole in the roof that has been punched down into the actual building. And then... Have I already been here? And then you see a specific section in the middle of the room that has been crushed down into, like, the concrete is cracked while anything not crushed into this depression has been pushed to the side of the room in, like, this haphazard pile. And Leon and Devesh, both of you take a moment before you realize you're looking at a footprint of a gargantuan Saurian creature. Oh, tr <laughs> What the oh. fuck? It's, it's like that, uh, the scene from Godzilla, the, uh, the 1999 one or whatever. <laughs> Essentially. Huh. A large reptilian foot has punched down, stepping on this building, is what you can figure from that survival. Wow, that's, um... That's, um... I'm gonna, like, glance around now at this point to see if I can figure out where the last or next footprint is. I think we had... Wasn't there a similar uh, hole in this building over here? Can we tell which direction yes. the footprint is pointing? Yeah, is like, I'll, I'll scamper uh, up onto the roof. It's, uh, the it's way, pointing... that way. <laughs> so, with this sort of new information, you can kind of suss out, especially from the vantage point of the, on top of the buildings. These footprints ha came out of the water and were venturing inland. Oh my god, it was Godzilla. <laughs> Godzilla! Oh, so they're going this way. Godzilla! Uh, basically towards uh, Cardinal South. They came from the north, went south. Okay. Alrighty. Something uh, really big. Uh, sorry, not it. Not water. it. Mechanically colossal. <laughs> oh, how long ago that was? There's as much rot here as anywhere else. So presumably, remember that uh, breakwater had suffered a cataclysm of unknown of unknown proportions. Well, oh, uh, nothing no. that you remember, nothing that you've kind of figured out. None of you know yeah, anything about it. hundred years ago, a Tarrasque just showed up. I was just about to say, ye gods, the Tarrasque has been here. 
No, nobody but, uh, uh, do a wild sorcery. These seem to be clues as to which cataclysm wrecked Breakwater Harbor. Well, it whatever it was, it, been, it uh, definitely uh, broke the place. What, what do you call it? The, name. the Magiro or whatever? <laughs> the not Godzilla? Hey, what? <laughs> Sorry, I missed that last thing you said there, uh... The, the the not Godzilla monster that Pathfinder has. Oh, it's, it's uh, just the trap. Oh, yeah, yeah. one of the mini. No, no, oh, no. no it's uh, there's another one. Oh, okay. Um, they just, just made like a whole. Have, yeah, uh, like Kaiju it's uh, his name uh, is King Magaro. Yeah, they have not yeah, that one. Uh, too. <laughs> they do. They have like a whole host of uh, kaiju. Kaiju is a creature type. Yep. Oh. And uh, they're wow. about this size. It's amazing that no one ever actually specified what kind of um, cataclysm happened when it's something so unusual. noticeably huge. Well, come you never really looked into it. You, you rolled the knowledge, and you don't know. You just know something happened, something destroyed the town, and you don't have any other information. Yeah, well, there's probably it, information uh... out there. You just don't know it. Right? Yeah. It is it, that level of thing. Yeah, you would think would be. If it wasn't being suppressed, you would think would be like almost common knowledge. Yeah, you know, it'd be like what's what's Mount Vesuvius and uh I just hope whatever it is, it's not still here. Yeah that, that... somewhere else Powerful. and not on uh, this island. Well, uh so, but yeah, that is what your characters find out. Well, it, really interesting. Uh nothing useful is here. And nothing uh, of immediate use to you, but uh definitely um <laughs> Definitely something to keep in mind that, you know, there's a giant Saurian creature stomped on a bunch of buildings. Sure, it won't be relevant later on. This is just, this is ancient history, right? Certainly. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, what do you do? Well, Besides, be <laughs> who's freaking out? Move on. Uh, no, no not, not really. I made a survival but, check. It's old. Yeah. yeah it's five, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you can tell it's ancient history. Check yeah, out this one. Just check stick out. my head in this one last building real quick just to make sure there's nothing <laughs> consequence there. I have a stupid uh, idea. Uh, yeah, no, uh, basically you see just more trash <laughs> and uh, more bits of boat that seem to have been dropped from the air. I'm guessing that boat being dropped was something, a uh, function Probably of the thing coming out of the... Uh, that thing, yeah. you? Yeah. Zephyrus is still what just like, what the I fuck? It must have been like a tidal wave or something, but yeah. this makes a lot more sense. It does. It does. Godzilla was stomping around. <laughs> Tokyo <laughs> City, like a big playground. Like a big old playground. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> you know, a few more pieces of evidence as to suss out what's kind of going on here. Right. And uh, I guess the... with that, we can move on to the next portion. Yeah, Rose said. Let's, let's, let's head this way. Why am I leading? Give those <laughs> crazy kids I don't know. Some Get out of my way. <laughs> Why are you leading? Listen, shut up. <laughs> there you go. Zeph Zephyrus, make a perception check. Oh, okay. Oh. If I was following them, would I, do I need to make one as well? Yes. All right. Yeah. All those high rolls came back to bite me with low rolls. Uh, I guess I might as well do it too. I don't know. So, we're all stupid. Apes strong together. Apes strong together. That's like the third time we've heard that one tonight. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, it's just, it keeps being relevant. Lack of charisma, lack of intelligence <laughs> party. Listen, I'm good on charisma, hey, hey, not hey, you guys. Hey. I've, I've got good on diplomacy and intelligence. Yeah, so I we got one person with charisma. charisma. How dare you? I'm also good on decks, if that means anything. God, so. it really doesn't... Guys, it just feels like we're doing terrible on the social end. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I All right. We, yeah. Zephyrus, you are able to see movement in the corner of your eye. Which corner? Like, on the map? The right corner. As jutting out into this dock are these two piers and you see movement along the bottom of them as three figures come into view and you see them as dog-sized scorpions scorpions oh, on a dock that's strange well, yeah, we can probably zoom in on those. I was those expecting ones those lobsters. Have triggers. Yeah, <laughs> they look like lobsters. Uh, from... <laughs> Rose, you can give us a little knowledge niche there. 
as uh, Zephyrus can point them out. These are Europe Terrans, also known as Sea Scorpions. Sea ah. Scorpions. Anything useful alchemically? Uh, no, oh, they they do have they are poisonous. Hmm. So if they sting you, you'll be making some fort saves. And Don't so we will end it here and kick it off next time with some initiative rolls. Yeah. Thank you, everyone, for uh, watching us and those of you who are going to be listening in later. I need to use the bathroom, so my closing statement <laughs> is thank you for your patience and thank you for participating and hanging out with us. You guys are the best. Yeah. Take care, y'all. All, All right. right. Later. Bye. Good night, Y'all everybody. Nice Have a good evening. Peace. God, this place is a death trap. <laughs> well, I don't know. I've been doing pretty well so far. Oh, you might want to move that eyeball before we uh, stop forget him. Forget him before you forget about him. Oh, it. yeah. For, <laughs> forget him again. He's totally following you guys. <laughs> See, this is how stealthy he is. He even evades me. Yeah. We should be making him do our scouting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he can't tell us about anything. He's <laughs> no. like, blink in Morse code. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One blink of the enemy is two blinks if there isn't. Or if he gets shot, we know there's someone around the corner. Yeah. <laughs> I got hung up recording the date with the Hellforge guy. Uh... Gonna put it on WikiLeaks. <laughs> there you go. <laughs>